Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 34 of our Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones mod where we're playing as High Chief to Susilla of Crusader's Keep. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode, by the way, there's someone banging on my walls. Great. Uh, I hope you don't hear it uh, too loudly. Yeah, in the previous episode, we've mostly been just waiting for this guy of Golden Head to die. Or maybe our truce to expire, but he probably could die sooner than the truce is gonna expire, I hope. Uh, to be able to declare war on him and start our invasion of Summer Isles. And also, yeah, that's that's about it. You got also have a new king on Iron Throne. He's a Targaryen again. And he, by the way, is a lunatic. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I don't know how this managed to happen. Or actually, I kinda do. Dorn, for some reason, decided to press his claim. Uh, and what else do we have in here? We picked up ourselves a daughter who is half giant, which is quite great. So yeah, let's just uh, unpause, continue, and let's hope that this guy gonna die like in a couple of months, because I'm really getting, or starting to get annoyed uh, by, his, by, he, by his lifespan. Also, yeah, on the start of each freaking episode, my educators, or uh, the children I educate for some reason change every freaking time. So let's go and change them back, because my daughter is almost 16 already, so I'd rather uh, she receive my type of education instead of some weird one. Yeah, and we're still trying to seduce one of our uh, lesser uh, rulers, lesser vassals, but it's not, not really working out that well, because we have minus 100 relations. Should I just give up? Probably. Because it's, it's not gonna work out. My daughter is gluttonous, okay. Actually, it's not my daughter, it's a bastard. So I don't care, really. Mm -hmm. And this guy already set as a special interest, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna see if he's gonna die. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm pregnant again. That's great. Let's hope it's gonna be another one, a uh, giant child. It would be actually quite, quite handy. Okay, we also have 1900 troops, we have mercenaries. My dear husband Len is suspicious of my pregnancy. He's asking right now about me if the child is really his. Of course he is yours. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's probably another one freaking giant. Who we have as our lovers? Actually, we have two extra lovers, so it might be the child from them, but who knows. And we have some rebellion haunted forest, okay. Let's go and kill you, I guess. 5th of December, 10th of December, great. Uh, no thanks, I don't need to manage my titles. I'm fine, it's been over the man size, and we have new king on the Iron Throne, yeah, yeah. We all knew that, and he's a dragon rider now, so that's quite bad. Because this guy captured in the battle. Could we sell him into slavery before finishing the war? Sell into slavery, he's not a ruler, he's not a ruler. He's just the leader of the revolt. That's freaking bullshit. Uh, could I ransom you? I couldn't. Okay. Enforce demands. And now you're my vas or my courtier, but in my prison. Yeah, I'm just gonna sell you. I'm gonna not gonna care about anyone's opinion. Maybe something better than 15? He's a formidable fighter, after all. Come on. Give me 200 bucks. I know you want it. I know you want this guy to fight in the slave pits or whatever they called. It would be quite a nice one. Oh, okay. Never mind. Let's go and try again. Perhaps should give up. Okay. I guess we're just gonna wait. Maybe we're gonna have gonna have some better prices uh, later. And this guy's still alive. He's blind. He's 61. And still alive, and no one wants to kill him for some weird reason. What about his heir? Uh, Hatchet is still has decided it's time. Uh, excuse me, no. I want to see percent chances. 46. Not good enough. Or it's actually not not good at all. Uh, you decided to change succession law in Golden Head. Why would they care? A son was born. Okay, so it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't the child of a giant. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> oh, talking about retinues. Actually, in this mod, 
or else it's probably non-existent. Should I just go on speed 5 and wait for this guy to die? Because I don't know if I could expand anywhere else. I just want to start working this freaking, uh, conquering these islands. But you're stopping me from this. Oh no! I achieved this land. My nice husband actually died. Okay. Let's get ourselves a new one. It would be really sweet if I could marry a giant. God damn it. But it's not, not gonna allow me. Anyone who is last fallen here? No. Not gonna get the guy with high intrigue because he probably gonna find out about all of my... All of my... Nice stuff. We have Garrick in here. He's quite young, so yeah. Sounds like a decent idea. Live reinforcement rate in li uh, Lizard Head. Oh, great. So now we're gonna be... Or when it's gonna finish, we're gonna be able to raise 600 troop from here. Should I get another one level of Wildland Barracks in here? Might be useful. Yeah, why not? At some point I would need to give away this title, but still. Ah, uh, Hedman Lars is exciting and fulfilling, so much love, so much desire. Not gonna break up with my giant. I could become stressed, but it's quite dangerous. Mm hmm. God damn it. Hard home or this guy? Oh, the guy from Hard Home don't like me that much for some reason. Lost a ward, minus 60. Okay. I guess I'm gonna break up with you, Tormund. If you hate me anyways. I guess I'm not gonna care much. And yeah, let's just get back here and wait on speed 5. For this stupid guy to die. Or for our truce to expire, like 5 years, right? We lost our ores here also, by the way. Let's... Let's actually, no, place our vassal. And what are we gonna be doing? Specify province. Levy size, local revolt risk, levy reinforcement rate. Let's get you in here. Because I would be willing to raise some troops in here for my uh, future war. Just not to... Not to gather my uh, mercenaries around. That would be easier this way. And new administration gonna expire not soon at all. Okay. God damn it, it's like on speed 5. Yeah, this, this mod is quite... Quite heavy. It is so cold in here, but I can't imagine the peasants something, something. Crusters keep getting peasants dying. Cool. Actually, gonna get back to speed 4 because just ridiculous. And you're, you're participating in the war again. Defending against Lord Tab of Goldenheart and Goldenheart claim on Tamarion. What is Goldenheart and why are you. Why are you moving into my province? Excuse me? Oh! Actually, if, if you're gonna get conquered by Goldenheart... I would be fine uh, with that, because with this guy I don't have any... I don't have any truce. So if, if he's gonna be... become the overlord of this place, it would be fine. But I bet that this guy gonna die uh, right after the war. And then I would declare for this place, and then I'm gonna have a truce with Goldenheart, and then it's gonna get all messy again, and I would need to wait. More and more and more. Len! We have another one Len in here. You don't really have much imagination with the names, right? Oh! We have guy with the King's Blood uh, dynasty. That's actually a dynasty that gets mentioned in the books, I think. Huh, that's quite cool. Hmm. Okay. You're sitting down this place. And there goes your war, I think. Yeah, 100% war score. Okay. But the problem is... Uh, with this thing. That this guy have 2.5 thousand troops. So fighting with him would be a little bit more problematic than with previous one. I do have that many troops as well, but... Gathering them would be a problem. Okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I could totally declare a war on you. I actually could even invade this place. And it might be better because I'm gonna get access to Road Forest too. And then when, I'm gonna, when my truce is gonna expire, I could invade Tamarino as well. Okay, let's get our mercenaries back. 
to the island. Uh, we're probably gonna get tons of rebellions in our homeland, but that's fine. We could only raise 100 troops from here, but that's better than nothing. And then we're probably gonna use, like, troops from here. We have 1600 in sandstone. No sense. I'm fine with managing my own titles. Uh, let's go to speed free, maybe. Just so it's gonna be easier to, to go around the map without much luck. Uh, 2.5 thousand. That's quite a lot. Okay, so there's our mercenaries. Might also consider just raising other mercenary band. Instead of using my personal troops, but... Oh no, that's fine. Uh, let's go and get these guys here. The boats. I think I'm not gonna be in engaging with him right away. I'm just gonna declare a war. Then raise my troops from Sunstone, get them combined with this army, and then we are going to be ready for combat. We are going to have 3.6, he's going to have 2.6, so even with jungle terrain, I think we are going to be fine, right? So, let's go and declare a war. I'm going to declare invasion of Golden Heart, just to have borders with other people. Uh, I actually haven't checked your allies, and I should have, you have Molu. With 2.6 thousand troops as well. Hmm. That might be problematic. Hmm. Let's go and get you here. It would be nice if you were to actually get rid of your troops and send them somewhere. You might consider, like, trying to siege down my capital. Okay, his allies still haven't joined the war. Maybe he's not gonna join at all. It would be useful. And let's go and raise 100 troops from here, just in case. So we have 3,800. Let's get ourselves best commanders in charge, if possible. And we don't really have that many commanders available. Let's go and at least get this flanker on the flank. And the rest just gonna be these people. Okay. Let's go and try to find your army. Uh, the army composition is actually quite awful. Let's go and get these guys from the castle of sandstone in the middle instead. Because if the middle flank were to fall, it would be quite awful. Oh, eight extra duckies, and there, uh, there is his ally. But if you're... Uh, why is your color changed? I don't know. Oh, and you actually split your armies by sending them on boats. So I could, uh, could catch part of your army. And of course, as soon as I leave my province undefended, we have 900 rebellion. That's annoying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, but at least we have a battle in here. It should cost some war score. 15, that's nice. I probably... Could I raise any troops from anywhere else? No. I probably need to get some troops back and fight this rebellion before they're gonna... What if I were to surrender? He's gonna get the chieftain. That's stupid. Okay, so you're trying to siege down this place. I have 1,000 defenders and you're going 6 per month. Or per, per 12 days. I'm going a little bit quicker in here. Hmm. Let's go and try to get ourselves like 1,000 troops. To fight off the peasants. So how many do you have in here? 909. Okay, let's go and get like one. 1100. You go here. It's gonna slow down our siege. We're still going quicker than there on the island, but. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? We're gonna receive all the rebellions. R <laughs> on the worst timing possible. I should get rid of this freaking hole. Zero is starting to. Piss me out, or piss me off, or piss me piss. Mm. Yeah, yeah, my heir, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my daughter actually managed to become brilliant commander. And look at these modifiers. Organizer, lead from the rear, direct leader. Oh, that's pretty great. Your stewardship is awful, but... Other than that? You're relatively fine, okay. So, he's probably gonna be able to siege this place down quicker than I would siege down his capital. 
And if they want, they also could uh, engage with my armies. Hmm. This freaking outlaws. All these random pop ups. This kind of annoying. Uh, we could raise extra mercenaries if needed, so. I shouldn't be too upset. Uh, also, why are you calling even more troops? You wasn't allied with this guy before. When the heck you managed to pick up this alliance? No idea, but you managed to. So I should be paying attention to the amount of troops uh, you guys gonna have and the, your movement. Mm, let's go and get our leaders on charge here. Even the peasants are quite squishy, but still. Oh, there is our giant child. She's already getting f uh, five, year old, five years old. You're totally gonna be groomed for command with the best possible education. You're gonna be like my dream child. Uh, we're losing some sieges. Not in here, though. Oh, never mind. Have you decided to like assault with these 4,000 troops? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. Um, okay. Let's go and kill you. Should I just send my boats and raise mercenaries? Because I don't know. Okay, we've switched down your capital. It's 83% war score immediately. Have you managed to capture anyone? No. Okay, maybe we would be able to win this war without engaging in any more battles with you. That would be quite handy. Also, what's happened in the north again? Uh, Worship of Blue Glove. Okay, yeah, there's some... Uh, there's some internal wars happening in the Iron Throne again. So, you're sieging down this. Could I get 17% extra war score from sieging down this place? Uh, probably not, because he's... He's immediately sieging, sieging all, all my other holdings. And I'm losing war score because of that. Okay. That's a problem. <laughs> He's gonna start moving his troops around now. Phew. Let's try to assault. 90% and the last one. And the last one costs nothing. Interesting. Hatchet is silly. Yeah, I'm I'm holding this golden head. Or I'm controlling the golden head. That's still not quite enough. Could we raise any extra uh, boats from Sunstone? No. And I need this thousand troops. Because they probably would be willing to engage me right now. They couldn't afford. Actually, I could assault this Tamarino place and it's probably gonna be enough to finish the war before they're gonna arrive, so let's go and try to do this. Excuse me? <laughs> Why the heck I lost 20 war score while I well, finished the Siege of Tamarino? Uh, no idea. This outlaw guy probably gonna get imprisoned, if possible. No, he's running away in fear, okay. Uh, why I lost my second war score? What the, what the fuck just happened? Okay, interesting. I switched on Tamarino and lost war score because of that. That totally makes sense. Okay. I don't know what to do. Let's get back on our island. And let's try to get these guys back before any combat gonna happen. I hope they don't have enough tr uh, don't have enough boats to land enough troops to fight me right now. Yeah, I'm not receiving Tikkun Warsker anymore, even though I still hold uh, hold these titles. Yeah, that doesn't make any freaking sense, but okay. And this guy's still running away. That's annoying. What the hell is happening? I 
Have I lost like some prisoners or... No, it's not showing in here. 24, 25. Yeah, it seems right, but I'm not receiving uh, chicken wars or even... Even though I've been receiving it a uh, second ago. Okay, I don't know, but it's actually a little time for me to have a break, guys. So I'm gonna do this. And we're gonna continue in the next episode. Let's hope you're gonna be able to finish this war without any annoyance. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like if you want to see more, you subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it. And I would answer as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.